Howdy y'all! Today, you guessed it, more wiring. My favorite. It seems like it never ends. But, we've made good progress. Underhood stuff is just about ironed up. And we have finished constructing our switch panel. Got it all pre-wired up, because, well, it would be basically impossible to hook this stuff up under the dash. This is going to take the place of where a radio used to live, and we need to get it installed. So, let's get in the car, and start sweating, and install it. Alright guys, here we are in the sweat box. Now we've got to uh, install our switch panel. We've got a couple of rivets here, that's how it's going in. And we'll get uh, this little dashboard uh, swung out of the way here as carefully as possible, which I think is doable. Alright, now that that is not in our way. We can begin with why we're here. So, we've got a switch panel here. Let's go over what we got going on here. Fuel pump, ignition, electric fan. This is all uh, controlling the ground side of a relay. And these two guys are exhaust cutouts. And we'll see how well those turn out. The quality of the wiring that came with that kit is a little iffy, but uh, it's wired up good. And as you can see, we got quite the jumble of wires here. Get off of that one. All right. So let's um, start. We've got these guys right here. Those are our three main switches right there. And they are going to be passing through a grommet in the firewall. To trigger our relays that are set outside and we'll, we'll take a look at all that good stuff in just a few minutes. That has been quite a tedious wiring project. Um, cable management is critical y'all. Uh, you know it, that's that's the number one rule of getting any of this stuff kind of working the way you want it. Leave yourself enough room on your wiring to work with and make sure you keep it organized. And just pass all that through like so. Alright. Uh, make sure we're the right side up and we are. And in theory this should line up with those two holes and it does. I did my best to keep from scratching the hell out of this thing while I was putting it together, but my best efforts didn't pay off. And eh, the paint job on this little plate got some nicks, but you know, it'll be fine, right? Okay, so oh. let's go ahead and get this one set over here first, maybe. Come on, baby. All right, one down. Number two. Nice. Okay, so with any luck, and if I plan this right, this should fit back in nicely. In theory. Yeah, just right. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, I think that's about where she lives. Got most of those holes look like they've got a hole line up to. Now we can go ahead and set our lighter back in here. Kind of ties it all together. 
go. All right, that's good enough for now. So, there we go, fuel pump, ignition, fan, make it go loud, make it be quiet. Pretty cool. Yep, I think that'll do. It's really hot in here. Alrighty guys, now we're out of the hot box in there. We have got our wires passed through our grommet, right over in this general vicinity. Um, these three wires are all switched ground. Um, they don't need to be super heavy duty. All they're doing is turning on this set of relays. Uh, we're back in front, fan relay, MSD ignition relay, and fuel pump relay. Our See, our dark blue is our fan. Our light blue is our fuel pump. Pink is our ignition box. So, I've already got quite a bit of this wiring done, y'all. Um, long story short is that these relays are going to be powering our high load devices, such as our ignition feed uh, switch power to our MSD ignition box. The MSD ignition box actually is fully fed power through these two bus bars, ground, and power. And that's via going right back to the battery, uh, ground, eight gauge, back to the battery. And on this side, we got power back over here to our ignition feed. Um, direct battery power right here. Makes it super easy to kind of bundle this stuff up. This is approximately six hours worth of wiring. So, not gonna film that obviously but we can show the final results. Now, what we gotta do is find our feeds here. And we still have our three feeds right here coming from our relays. Um, and there's one more yet to be hooked up. That is the MSD ignition box. Uh, once all of this is basically tucked and tidied, we will be doing some looming over it to prevent any uh, abrasion from tearing up the wiring. But the MSD ignition box sits right over the top of it makes it look nice and clean. So that's, um, let's just see if we can make these final connections real quick. I'll show you the connectors I'm using guys and uh, we should be able to set the MSD back on here and get a final look at what this all looks like. Let's get started. Electric fan first. It's our dark blue here. And let's just kind of Eyeball measure that, and we're gonna we're gonna trim that wire right there. And give her a little strip. Give her a little twist there. Trim it to length. All right, so we are using these nifty uh, high quality butt connectors. They give a really tight connection with the right crimping tool and they all uh, heat shrink up with a little bit of glue in there to seize it all together. Now, some people would tediously crimp and solder all of this, and you know, it's, that's fine. But this is also fine. And uh, any I know you talk to actually a, uh, a solid mechanical butt splice connection can be better than a soldered joint. Now, obviously, the uh, ultimate is to solder and crimp. But, again, this is perfectly adequate for what we're doing. There's no, uh, not a lot of amperage here. Well, basically none. Um, it is literally just a switched ground I believe the amount of amperage it takes to turn on a relay is somewhere in the neighborhood of like half of an amp. It is virtually nothing. So let's get our heat gun here. Alright, there we go. One down, two more to go.
there we go. Our switch panel is wired to our relays. And obviously, guys, this stuff all needs to be organized a little better, whatnot. But essentially, this little loom right here is all going to be tucked over here. And we've got to get some protective loom covering on it. All that good stuff. But, I believe we are now ready to uh, get the MSD ignition box in place. And we have a couple more connections to make. That's our main uh, switch feed for the MSD. So, main one we want to get right away here is this little red guy. That is out to our ignition coil. Something kind of like that. Route that there. Alright, we just need to get this cut to length and for ease of use later. Now well, we'll cut it right about there. Cheated that wire a little bit by folding it over on itself. We can get a nice secure crimp. Make sure you all lay in. Alrighty, that one is done. All right, now we can get this out of our way and we can kind of carry on. We need to route our uh, feed to our distributor. It comes with a extension harness there. It is definitely entirely too long. Have to shorten that up a little later on. Main thing is we need to basically just get all this stuff into place currently. Uh, tachometer feed, that can also go out back this way with those guys. Okay, it's getting pretty busy over here guys, but uh, yeah, this white wire that comes with the American Auto wire is our coil feed. And we'll, uh, we'll terminate it a little later. We'll tidy this up. And remember guys, we are coming back in here with looming. It's not just going to be bare wire on metal. That is kind of another day's project though. Let's see, that seems about right. And we can go ahead and set the MSD box back in place. Like that. Get a couple of screws in there. Good enough for right now. All right. That's looking pretty tidy. A little length there. Plug that guy back in. All right, so now all we've got is our two red and blacks, big hot wires here. And we are going to take them right over here, something like that. One thing I always recommend, guys, is Give yourself lots of length. That way, if you ever have to make some adjustments later on, it is not too bad. Right, we're gonna just do it. Cut it there. Alright, so, 
pretty much about does it. We gotta mount this relay pack. Uh, we've got our voltage regulator run. We've got our switch power feeds coming in. Relay set. Switched. Powered. Uh, these are kind of some cool relays too. They actually have a built-in fuse holder on top. Get one to show you guys. Let's see, that's a 5 amp. And like I said, since we're switching ground on our fan there, that basically needs nothing. So there you go. That's um, pretty good. Got little covers. Boom, boom. That's got a little cover too. We'll put some fuses in that later. But anyway, it's a um, pretty clean little setup, I think. It's the probably other ways to do it but this is how I did it alrighty guys that does it for today we've been uh, hard at it on this electrical thing for it seems like way too long now but we're at the end of the tunnel I think we gotta get a steering column put in this car next and we can probably turn some stuff on and see hopefully that it works I think it will gotta put some light bulbs in some fuses here and there a few ground connections um, and uh, I think it'll be about ready. So we gotta get it moved over from this spot to a lift. Uh, we need to get some stuff attached to this car that we've been putting together for it, like a eight and three quarter rear end. It's ready to go in. Uh, transmission, ready to go in. As soon as those two things are in, we can build a drive shaft. And from there, put an engine in it, make a few final electrical connections for oil pressure and temperature and all that good stuff there and it should fire right up so thank you guys for all the subscriptions we broke 1,000 just uh, this week pretty cool um, very appreciative for all the support make sure you subscribe if you're not like and share tell your friends we'll see you next time